G'day and welcome back to our Cradle of Nightmares campaign in EU4. So I was having a look at uh, who would be able to be called in. We can't call anybody much in with the Pope, so we're going to have to declare on Venice, which means we need to build up the spy network, because of course we've got no reason to uh, jump on them, unfortunately. Serene Doge, right. He's 62. It's elections next year. Ooh, another Cardinal. That'd be helpful. So we might wait for this. Um, there's nothing else we can do to really boost it at this point, though. 17 provinces under non-member states. Hopefully we can... No, France don't have any yet. It's all Burgundy. All right, and what is happening with them? The Bogon will become Gonzaga. 22. Hopefully we get the option and not Spain. Otherwise... Money's not awesome. Bribes are coming more accepted. Great. Um, it's going to be a while till we can get ahead of time. It's going to be a hell of a long time before we can get ahead of time. Cannot afford to promote this advisor. So it is based on the amount, not the amount without discounts. It's good to know. Good reason to get ridiculous amounts of money together. And Brittany wants Condicieri. What are you doing, Brittany? Oh, France's war with England's over as well. Let's just do a re-best guess. Now, Hungary, still got two years, so we should be ready before I can do that. Granada has been annexed by Castile. Can't do uh, Spain until Admin Tech 10, though. Alright, Urbino. PU under Castile. I assume that's going to continue if he dies. Alright, Cardinal Minister. Tolerant Heretics goes down or straight up prestige. Um, what's this? 20 years worth of stability costs, missionary strength, papal influence. We'll go for that for the papal influence. Alright, and we can fabricate. So. I'm thinking Verona. Yep. Fabricate Verona. Stop building the spy network. And the other thing was Bosnia. We didn't quite have the favours yet, but we do now. Okay, so if we go directly in to Venice, we can call in Hungary, Poland, Brandenburg, Milan. Kobliderize the Pope, and actually tells you there who their allies are. That's awesome that it does that now. So, France... Pretty sure it will come in. Um, Luca and Siena don't, which is good. Verden is way up in the north. Brandenburg will do them. The Knights we don't care about. Utrecht, hopefully Brandenburg will sort out. Together with Oldenburg and East Frisia. Don't know how their trade league's all in north Germany. Um, yeah. So Castile is a no because they don't have favours. Bohemia, we don't have favours. Bosnia has a truce to Venice. Um, probably not for a great deal longer. But... Let's confirm that. Corfu is wanted. Naxus is wanted. So just us versus them. We're looking good. And military. You're going to have to save up points because we need the better guys. Hopefully they don't already have the thing. No. Um, their leader has four military though, so we're probably close. Now, could we really quickly get them out of our way? If we do, we're going to want to use a general. Take it up to 70 and uh, admiral. Take it up to 77. Hopefully he was decent. He's a 2-1. Alright. So we're going to do that just to have a chance of doing that little thing. Um, hungry. Hungry won't have any forts to block him from coming straight back. So probably keep these guys together in the woods for now. Okay. Abino have honoured, Pope is honoured, Oldenburg is honoured, Utrecht, the Knights, East Frisia, and Verden. And our armies are under attack. He's actually got all of his guys in there, so we'll want to get out of there. He's leaderless, and we rolled a 9, but he did too. Alright, so at the moment, uh, we've got double the men, so looking good. As long as Hungary and Poland both do their job here. Now, France haven't been called in yet, because the Pope has to do that. Alright, this is... Yeah, there they go. Alright, this is going to be the issue. We need to win that. We've already lost our light ship. 
get out on the 11th. Um, yeah, I mean, we've got no chance. Fine. Which means these guys can come over to Fair Verona. Take the war goal. Luca have honored with the Pope. Luca are uh, one province minor down there, so that's all good. Now, with France in, we're still outnumber them. France themselves have 18,000, less than Poland or Hungary. And our guys can all get access. So Brandenburg can get through Poland to get down there. Um, actually, we're the Emperor, so they have access through the HRE. Uh, Milan, hopefully, will deal with Luca. Let's go start telling people what to do. Brandenburg, you need to get up to the den. Oldenburg and East Frisia. Brandenburg, Brandenburg, and send Poland that way, actually. Send Lithuania over here as well. Because France will be able to walk through HRE territory to do that. Okay, well, it's going to be our first big war of the campaign. Hopefully it doesn't go too badly for us. Hungary should be able to help a bit. Um, next question is, does anyone have a fleet? No. So we're never going to be able to get over to Venezia. Um, we do want to do stuff over here, though. Not knowing where their army is. Means we should be a little more cautious. Alright. Them to Brescia. Even better. Stick in Friuli. Alright, taking Verona. He can do Brescia really quickly because he's got Maneuver. Then we'll come down. We want to get the Pope out first so we can start getting rid of the aggressive expansion that we'll get from taking his land. And we've got a free guy. Let's have a look. We want Romagna and Urbino to start with. Uh, it's a little aggressive expansion. If we can get... Now, pretty sure... He's over 100%. Yeah, he's 106. So if we just take these, then we can go in a second war and vassalize him. Um, otherwise... Is Ancona worth anything? No. That is our limit there. All right, so we'll take these three, just try and uh, do the whole coastline around there. And along with that, he would annul his alliance with France. So as soon as we can get that, we'll get him out. All right, we're good there. So if these guys come down to Romagna. Now, we're allowed to walk straight through there because we're the emperor. This dude has no siege. He's pretty much completely terrible. And Grand Generalship is every 10 years. Okay. How is our professionalism? 1.68. Get one for recruiting generals, but I think you actually have to recruit them. Don't know if doing that button will work for that or not. Should probably find out. Alright, Ottomans are influencing Karaman. That's fine. Gonna have to deal with the Ottomans before they get too strong. Alright, Sleep Frog over to the hills of Ancona. Hills, hills, farmlands. I like that his only fort is in farmlands. Haven't seen his army yet, though. Alright. Um, Hungary thinks that he's got a chance of uh, doing France for some reason. Going a little across the border. Gain corruption. I don't want to gain corruption. Alright. Got Ancona. Let's wander down to the hills of Umbria. We have Moldavians in Luca. It's nice. Um, so Milan's not doing that. To make Moldavia want to stay there. He's got one siege as well, which is helpful. Alright, with Umbria done, do you want to sit in the farmlands? I mean, his army's obviously not here, so let's just get started. And what do they have? Noble rebels. Okay. And <laughs> he's integrated Urbino. Nice. Um, I suppose that puts him under. No, it puts him up. And Hungary's out there. We will jump out really quickly. I'm going to try and get these guys around. Alright, we win that. Get Florian in. Awesome. Alright. So it doesn't matter if their fleet comes back now. We'll be able to walk across the meteorite of Ensisheim. 
Meteorite weighing a hell of a lot, fell outside the town of Amsterdam in Alsace, further Austria. When villagers tried to remove parts of the meteorite, the local magistrate interfered in order to preserve it for Maximilian, the future emperor. Is he? No, he's not. Uh, he declared it to be a wonder of God, and after removing two small pieces for himself and Archduke Sigismund of Austria, he returned the meteorite to the city to be preserved in the parish church. A true wonder. Gain stability, gain prestige. Now, stability becomes important, so we'll buy it once while it's cheap, and then we'll get the other one. Alright, he's influencing Naples. Noble rebels, can't remember what they do, but they don't break him free, so that's fine for them. Alright, doing both the important sieges. Now, French army. Holy crap. Hungary's sitting in Paris. What are the French doing? They're at war with Brittany and Scotland. That shouldn't really bother them. The papal army in there. No, the Dem. Or someone. Alright, truth that Aragon is over. That doesn't bother us either. So, we're at 10%. Battles, there's been one lost. That was Polish versus a lot of Utrechtian. That couldn't all be Utrecht. Alright, we're looking good up here. Mazovia is doing East Frisia. Which I wouldn't mind taking. Since it's not in the Empire. Speaking of which, 1, 2, 3, 4 votes. Needs to be using the other guy. So, Saxony, some improved relations. So, Brandenburg is the block on him. It's fine. Don't really want to uh, be spending another relation. You're going to enjoy getting rid of those extra royal marriages. And uh, Bosnia. Can't call him to arms. His truce isn't up until 61. Damn, that was a lot longer, the amount that they took. Okay, well, we can feed things back to him, but I don't think we really want to. We'll let Venice keep it. Alright, we can start building stuff. So, we do want Vienna to have the uh, extra tax income. Holy crap, where's this? That's all spoils of war. Okay. And we can call Bohemia in. No, they're coming into the next one. Military tech, though. Absolutely. With an 8% penalty. Um... We won't boost them up yet, because this guy's a bit close. Hey, hungry. No, he'd probably be annoying and try and take it. We'll just head back after we've uh, done one of these. That research is wrong. Lose Diplo. We'll take the prestige hit. What's our mission these days? Crunch Comte, right. Denmark's doing Livonians. So that'll uh, hold the Polish off a bit. Alright, minus 49% is atrocious. Ottomans declared on Kandar. They're going to keep growing. There's the Venetian army. He has come of age and had a baby straight away. So we're going to have to break the alliance with him. Hmm. We'll have to check the timing because I think it might be too late already. Ooh, am I killing a French army? That's nice. So, France have no leader, and they don't have a line yet. Good. If they had a line, we'd be screwed in this war. And whoever took that did give it back to us. Now, they left Luca. Oh, and we won the siege of Venezia. Good. So, even though his boats are there, where's he going to wander off? Although, French army looks terrifying. Especially with the Papal army there. Um, he's coming down to do that. French will reinforce. We kind of need to stay away from them. I suppose France just want to peace out. What are we doing? Hungary. Uh, yeah, we don't care about Hungarian opinion. No, it's going to be a long time until we can get rid of France. Okay, and can't get rid of the Pope yet. So, guess we'll head around to Dalmatia. Bosnian separatists won't go there. It's just Croatian. So that's fine. He'll do those three. We'll let him do it. And we'll stay down here. That's a big battle we want nothing to do with. And they shouldn't be able to get past. Because that fort hopefully will block them anyway. Alright, but we're going to get the Pope out as soon as this is done. Um, again, they left Avignon, which isn't surprising. Because the French army would have... Crap. Alright, um... Duckets for mercantilism, no. 
And we're obviously going to lose this battle. Can't get out until today. Littlest, and nobody's reinforcing us. Damn it. Get around to Lyca. And that was the one that took us forever to get that much. Alright, so it's going to be a long, slow slog for a bit then. Um, actually, is there anyone? East Frisia and the Den we can do now. So, East Frisia. Damn it, can't core it, even though it's in the Empire. I was hoping that would work. Okay then. Can't give it to anybody else either. Yeah, Brandenburg can't reach it. So, I guess we just take tons of cash. And don't care about his alliances too much. Take war reps. Be nice if we could force them to join the HRE as an option. Um, no, not going to get him as a vassal. So, from 32, let's get prestige. Grab a little less money. We can break his alliance with Sax Lauenberg. 280. Alright. Get him out. And then, eight days from now, look at Verden. Who's not a free city. He's a bishopric. Okay. Um, yeah, we can do this. Alright, because he's not in the HRA, of course. Um, if we did Stard, everyone in the north would hate us. It means we won't be able to take as much down there. But it means we can fabricate a hell of a lot more up there. So, I think that's an awesome idea. Um, take his money, and that's all we can do with them. Be nice if it told you who was improved, uh, who was getting worse anyway. All right, send that. So this one, we don't really need to buy it off. Let's just make that a core, and we got more money. That's fine. We haven't taken any loans yet, which is surprising. Um, suppose the war isn't most of this. Kind of reliant on our gold mine. Cool. So, land in the north. Do we want to just buy it off anyway? I think we do. While well, we've definitely got the chance. Okay. Now. Didn't see where that French army went wandering off to. How are we looking? We're losing more. A lot of it's to attrition. Um, Venice, Nexus. Uh, Nexus is under them, so we can't separate piece them. Alright, got Lyca back. We'll go up and take the grab. Actually, screw it. We'll go around to Nandor Fehrovar. Burgundy's cleared on Provence. Which puts Burgundy at war with France. Awesome. And he still has nowhere, so there's a good chance that the uh, Burgundian inheritance will happen. There was a battle in Dalmatia. There's these guys trying to walk around for some reason. They're stupid. Alright, Pope's down there, and Luca's down there. And Oldenburg won out. Did we miss you, buddy? I'm sorry. We shall sue for peace. We're not going to take his land, because... Then there's a lot less we can do down south. And wouldn't let us fabricate on much else except for Munster. So, yeah. Alright, ducats, war apps, and prestige. Or if we didn't take the ducats, how much... Uh, we only get 30 of that. So, yeah, let's go for the extra prestige. Because it's 17, we're on 48. Alright, one less. Papal State's only on four. Yeah. So close to having all of the Pope. Um, helping hand, Milan's opinion goes up for cost of admin. Milan's opinion goes down. Do we care about Milan? Not in the long run. And what would we get in return? No, never. Alright, it's going to be as slow as the... Um, Roman one that we were doing. And Mazovia. Yep, bugger off. We want the Bosnian separatists to win that. Let's 
Serbians down there. All right. The army reformer has died. That is not good news. Let's grab an army reformer. Discipline's too expensive. Cool. We're ahead of time on military only. And you know what? Our armies are all over here, so now is probably the best time to improve our guys. Um, let's go men at arms. Always do uh, Galaglas. Right, and the reason we're doing that siege is because we don't suffer any attrition while we're there. And looks like everybody's starting to pour down into the boot. Army's dying somewhere. Utrecht, etc. So try and improve with Saxony. Okay, and remind me, Utrecht over here. We'll wait for Milan to finish that. Hopefully the French don't see him doing it. And Lithuania copying a minus two, otherwise he would have had that. Oof, not with the French there. Sorry, hungry. You have to do better than that. Hopefully Milan don't come back to deal with it. Uh, just in case they're thinking about it. Milan, don't worry about your homeland. We've got you covered. Alright, they're down there again. That's good. Lithuania, Mazovia, etc. Doing this. And you've got nothing on the Pope again. Siena, peace out. Burgundy. I do like that France is involved in three wars at the moment. They're beating Brittany and Scotland. They're beating Burgundy. Equal with us. Alright. Bosnia. wonder if he will actually attack them in January. You'd think that he'd have to realise that he could win the war. And three diplomats. Right, one to the Allies. And another one. To whom... Um, probably want to start fabricating, actually. So, uh, fabricating on them or on them. Where else would we want to expand? If we take Ancona, we'll be able to fabricate towards Ragusa. Which is something we definitely want to get before the Ottomans get a chance. Allied with the Ottomans. We won't be able to fabricate on Serbia. It's too early to go to war with the Ottomans. Um... All right, next question. Hungary, when does our thing run out? 65, yeah, it's already too late. It'll be five years for breaking the thing. So we can't do restoration of the union on Hungary at any point, damn it. Well, we'll do them the old fashioned way if we have to. And Tyrol, seriously, Luca, you think that's a good idea? <laughs> France and Treviso. Alright, everyone wants to kill us. But we've won Dalmatia. So, next question. When are we allowed to get another general? Five years from now. Alright. Um, ten army tradition. I don't think we're going to do it any sooner. So, let's just get over to Hum. Pope has it 3 3. We wish our other general hadn't died. Alright, Hum is ours. Um, we will stay in these mountains. Yeah, no attrition there. Oh, Hungary's out. That's ridiculous. Why? Why, why, why? Hungary, you dirty rotten bastard. We're about to get his um, fort back. Alright, so if we can get France out, then we can... Just absolutely dominate this war. Because at the moment, I don't like the numbers. 28 there and 0 there. We need to defend these guys. I think it's going to be the most important bit. Let's go over to Brescia and Verona. Watch out for the French army. It's just up there at the moment. Yeah, we don't want Venice to be able to remake their armed forces. There's the Hungarians. They must have been way over here. Oh, Brandenburg thinks it's a good idea. Alright, uh, Paris. We can just get Brandenburg to sit on it. There's the Burgundians. Speaking of Burgundy, 
Ah, he's got an air. Alright. Brescia is back. Head to Romagna. And Urbino. Close enough to them to defend them. Because we want to get Luca out. Alright. Beza shall be somewhere we expand one day. Gives the extra cash. And is that... No, it's got um, estuaries all around it. It doesn't have one itself. And now that an ability it won't land, we wanted to give him Treviso. Otherwise, there's no autonomy there, so no, it's fine. They can just have Stad. Uh, there you go, nobles. There's a percentage amount, 23 for the burgers. We'll uh, pull something from them later. All right, with this done, still want to stay close, so let's go to Umbria. Best place for them to defend into the hills rather than these grasslands. All right, and it's 28. Oh, he's not good at winning that. This Polish have caught up and overtaken the Milanese. All right, there's Umbria. I guess we're getting started on Rome after all then. Then Conan going to come over here. We can walk through there if we need to reinforce. And Luke is done. So, super peace. They're in the HRE, so we're just going to take away their alliances. It's, um, I assume we're not getting much of this money ourselves. 45 isn't a terrible amount. Um, but... Breaking up all the... Well, let him keep his alliances, just not with the people we need to attack. All right, war reps. And... Remove Ferrara, remove Sienna. And then we will take his money. All right, Lucans are done. Then, up here, win it this time. Nice. So... If we took this, that would be terrible. But money with war apps. And just get more prestige. It's not a lot of money. Get more prestige. Alright, another 17. Puts us on 70. Or not. We only got 7 of it. And would another one make sense? In Canton... Yes, get it started because we're still positive income for a bit. All right, and that should get the forces down a little bit. Corfo and Naxus have none, so it's just the Pope, the Knights, and France. Um, he's not doing his job over on France. I'm supposed to have him standing in Paris, but getting closer to a white piece with them. So I'm gonna take a short break here. And when we come back, we will continue just trying to weaken both of these. And get them down to the point that one more war will uh, prevent the Shadow Kingdom. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.